Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. You know, I'm getting ready to head to the James River, which is a tidal water over in Virginia. And one of the things I know about the James River, which is one of the few things that I know, is that blue crab are pretty prevalent throughout the entire river itself. And they play a pivotal role in the bass forage. So I'm going through my stuff and I'm looking at all the different tackle I have, and I don't really have a whole lot of things that look like blue crab. You know, you can get a few different color variations that a lot of companies offer that are kind of that greenish, kind of that bluish tint, but nothing really that comes down to a blue crab. They're pretty unique looking uh, creatures. They've got some blue, they've got some green pumpkin, they've got some brown, almost reds in them, and they're pretty cool looking. Uh, but they're not an easy color to find. So I've had Hank down here building skirts. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say I've had him down here building skirts. He has been down here building skirts of various colors. These are ones he's made in the last couple of days. Every the very uh, very unique colors: yellow, black, and white. You know, reds and whites. His version of Goldilocks. All different stuff that he's been down here building. He's just playing around with the utensils. I've got all different skirt material out. You know, I've got boxes full of stuff. This is the box that he's been using. Uh, he's been even making some of my bad bluegill color. Uh, lots of different things, but he's been really playing around with it, having a blast. And he and I came up with a good blue crab color that I wanted to show you how we made it because making skirts is something that really is a lot of fun. It's super easy and you can match the hatch to almost about anything. You know, you can get all of the colors that you want through places like Tackle Warehouse, Skirts Unlimited, all different places or Skirts Plus is maybe what it's called or your Netcraft, your Barlow's. You can pretty much find any color that you want uh, on a lot of different websites. So it's a lot of fun. It's really pretty cheap. You can buy, you know, a package full of multiple different tabs. Uh, you know, like, you know, this is probably a couple dollars worth and there's probably, I'm going to say 10 or 15 tabs. So it, you can make a whole bunch of skirts out of it for pretty cheap. So, you know, the closest bait that I could find that was similar to a blue crab was a color that Dirty Jigs makes that's called Magic Cross Swirl. So it's really very similar. You know, the, it's got a little bit of a blue hue in it with that Magic Craw color and then it's got some uh, looks like watermelon or green pumpkin red flake and some brown so it's a very similar color if you compare it to the crab uh, it's one that you know is probably the closest that I've seen and been able to find but I want a little bit more blue in it so I'm going to try to recreate this color but I want to add and when I say blue it's more of a powder blue this is the the skirt material that I'm going to use so I've got that, I pulled out some, uh, this is a brown that's got some ridges in it, which I think is kind of cool because, you know, that crab has a whole bunch of different bumps and ridges. It's not like a, a bait fish where it's just straight smooth. They're very bumpy, pointy creatures. So a little bit of texture, I don't think hurts. So I'm gonna use a straight brown. And then I've got here uh, a magic cross swirl. So it's a green pumpkin blue magic cross swirl. So it's got that little bit of a, a transitional translucent color almost to it. And then I've got just some green pumpkin red flake. So it's very similar to the color that Dirty Jigs makes that's called magic craw red, but it's gonna have more blue in it. So I'm gonna show you how to make a skirt here. I'm gonna get everything together. I've got my browns, my magic cross swirl, and then I need my blue tab. So this is vaguely what it's gonna look like. We gotta put it together. But so you get these tabs, and at that point, all you gotta do is put a normal rubber skirt collar on it like that. Well, how do you do that? Well, you can buy a simple skirt making tool, very high tech, from Tackle Warehouse, I'll put the link up in the video description. And this is what the tool looks like. It's a tube with a cone 
that pulls out and a hook. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your skirt collar, slide it up over the cone. And I've done other videos on making color, making skirts, but I thought this would be a cool one because I'm trying to match the hatch for the James River. So I slid the skirt collar down, down onto the tube. I remove the cone. At that point, I take my hook, slide it up the tube, and I'm gonna hook all of my tabs on that hook right there. So I'll take my, uh, and there's really no particular order to it. If you get really precise and you want your colors to be in exact places, you can put, you can layer the tabs how you'd like, but uh, it's really not super important. So I'll take the magic cross whirl, put it right in the middle. I'm using only a half tab of that ribbed brown color. I'll put that on there. I'm using about a half tab of the green pumpkin red flake, and then a full tab of this light powder blue. So I got them all on the hook. I'm gonna take my, my hook, pull it back through the tube so I've got it about halfway up. And then at that point, I'll slide the collar down, pull the tube back out, and it just released there, but you pull it back out, now all I got to do is take my scissors and cut the ends of the tabs off so that the skirt material can swing free. Let me cut them all off. Oh, I missed one. I'll trim it up, trim it up. I've got a couple of long ones. And now we've got our blue crab. Sometimes you get a couple of strands that are around. So there we go. Let me find the, just to compare it, I wanna show you the magic red craw swirl, magic craw red versus the one I made. So it's very similar. In color, this has a little bit more brown in it, but mine's got more blue in it, which is kind of what I was going for. So I think it's gonna look great. So all I gotta do is I can take the skirt off the jig and replace it, and then I can fish the skirt collar that I want. Um, but to me, I think it's a pretty good match. I think that's what we're after. I'm going to uh, be throwing that at the James River. I'll probably pair it up. I don't have it on, but I'll probably pair it up here. I've got some of the HD Champ Craws. I like this one because it's got kind of those red tipped craws. So when I pair it up with the skirt, it'll be looking something like that. Should be pretty solid looking little bait. And I think it's a... Uh, I think it's gonna lead me to a pretty good finish. So I'm gonna tie up probably four or five of these to make sure that I've got them with me and uh, give them a, a try at the James. I'll probably try them on a swim jig, probably try them on a flipping jig, and uh, maybe even potentially like a spinner bait if there's a good spinner bait bite. But the reality here is I just wanted to show you how easy it is and how fast it is to make some skirts up. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. Like I said, my my oldest boy, Hank, has been doing it, but he's only five and a half years old and he's literally doing it by himself. Uh, you know, so if I look at quality control, some of these probably are not necessarily perfect, but you know, most of these are really very good. Um, so he's doing a good job with it. So guys, if you haven't tried making your own skirts yet, I recommend it because there's not a good blue crab out there. And if you need blue crab, you're gonna have to make them yourself. So I hope this was something that you enjoyed. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned. Another video coming out tomorrow.